So we, I'm going to explain the last concept of uh, this series of um, unit five, and more often in this question, in this type of question, we're gonna be using this identity of a mathematic. Is a mathematic identity whereby we know that two sine of theta cos of theta will give us sine two theta. So we explain this concept. And then from this one, you can be able to solve your question seven, your question eight, because if you solve one, question eight is just that they say it's double. So you need to calculate the angle at which it's double. So I will solve for one range, and then I will solve for two range, so that you see what the difference, okay? So on question eight, they say a rugby player Pick a ball at a projectile motion from the ground level, from the ground level, which means already from the ground level, what we need to write down is that our I, our, it's going to be equal to the initial I, is going to be equal to zero meter. And then remember, I told you that every time that there is a change in I, which means we have a ground, but someone starts throwing a ball from a specific I already, we have an initial I. Which means here we're gonna have an initial i, but in this case our initial i is gonna be equal to, to zero. Okay? And then they say the angle at which it kicked the ball it was one twelve uh, uh, degrees. Okay? And then as well they say if the ball and then they say above the horizontal, it turned to the ground level. So which means initially. He kicked the ball at 1 and 12 degrees and then to reach the ground. And then they say, to what value should the lunch angle be adjust? So we want to adjust this angle. At which angle we need to adjust so that when this, without changing the lunch speed, which means the velocity is constant. The velocity 1 and the velocity 2, they are constant automatically. And therefore, as you can see that they say, so that the, the range can double. Can you see that? So initially, this was our first range. It kicked at 12 degrees and then it kicked the ball drop here. Can you see? But now they say the range double. It means this double, range double to a specific. So we're going to have 2R. Okay? So we're going to have another R here. So which means we kick the ball again to double our range. So we want to find out at which angle this player can kick the ball, okay? And as I said, let's first of all solve for one range, yeah. then you understand what's happened when you have to double your, your range, okay? So, as you can see, in order for this ball to be kicked until to reach the ground, to reach the, this first round here, we're gonna have a projective time. Let me just arise for the two range i want us to solve for the one range first then we see how to solve for the second range okay so we can say here we're gonna have a projectile time we say at the projectile time our y is going final y is going to be equal to zero meter and the y in y uh, the, the speed in y final is going to be equal to zero meter per second so we have there a projectile we have a projectile time okay we are have a projectile time and that this projectile time for the first range we know that y is going to be equal to 0 and then vy is going to be equal to 0, okay? And then automatically, we come here, we say y is going to be equal to v o y initial speed in y, okay? And then we say the time plus 1 over 2, the acceleration in y times squared, okay? And then remember, this initial velocity, which means we're going to have the initial velocity in x, and as well the initial velocity in x, okay? In x and in y. In y, what's gonna be our final velocity? Gonna be v o of what? Sine, huh? sine of twelve degrees, okay? So we come here because we say the final high, the final i is zero. The initial velocity in y is gonna be v initial sine twelve degrees times the time. And then we come here plus one over two. What do we say about the acceleration? Acceleration is y. We're gonna talk about it later. Then we're gonna discuss it. Y and then the term squared. Acceleration in y. Acceleration in y. We say acceleration in y. So always gonna be equal to minus 9.8 meter per second uh, squared. Okay. 
and therefore here we apply our mathematics we have a common factor common factor is t t which we can take t as a common factor so if you take t as a common factor this will disappear this will disappear and then you have t there and then your first time is going to be equal to zero and then now you remain with zero which will be equal to the initial sign of 12 degrees okay plus my plus one over two acceleration y t okay so if you apply your mathematics here you want to do some mathematics if you do your mathematics you want to end up having your time is going to be equal to minus the initial sign 12 degrees divide by uh, if you apply your mathematics you want to have two over uh, a in y okay that will be our projective time of this uh, first range okay so this is our projective time so i will keep it to become my first uh, equation okay so i go back again into my calculation so if i go into my calculation again i have the in x as well we have applied as well in x okay remember x is going to be equal to what the initial velocity in x time plus one over two acceleration in x and as well time squared what do you say about the acceleration in x acceleration in x is always going to be equal to what to zero so if acceleration in x is equal to zero what's happened to this part this part will be what will disappear okay so if it disappear what's happened now we have to substitute the value okay remember this r r is our range r is our range is x is our range is r okay but the initial velocity in x is how much it's going to be the initial cos of 12 degrees what is our time the time we substitute this one here can you see and therefore we're going to have times minus 2 the initial sign 12 divided by a over y okay remember the equation that i give you we said 2 of sine theta okay cos theta will give us what sine 2 squared okay so let's observe that we have cos theta we have the two we have the sign so this will give us what this is going to give us the v, v initial square is going to get is going to be what v initial squared and then we're going to have a sign because of the two remember we have the negative as well out there the negative out there sign of two what is the angle times 12 degrees divided by the acceleration in in y okay and then automatically we're going to end up having minus the initial squared sine of 24 degrees of the acceleration in y so this is going to be the equation of the first range okay the equation of the first range can you see that for the first range for the first range okay but uh, i will prefer us to keep uh, this one I would prefer us to keep uh, this one. Okay? So we just want to keep we just want to keep we just want to keep the equation that we got. For the first range we say minus v o squared sine of okay, of 2 of the first angle. The first angle is going to be equal to 12 degrees over the acceleration in y. So now this is the equation we are going to use now to solve for the first range. If you take this equation, you go into the question uh, uh, 5.7, you're gonna get your you can get your angle just by applying this equation. What happened in question 7? In question 7, they give us our range. Our range is uh, 31. Our initial velocity is gonna be minus 18. Huh? Initial velocity is 18 squared sine of 2 the unknown is the angle what is the acceleration in y minus 9.8 we're gonna get the angle in question 8 question 7 but as we are not in question 7 we're gonna do it in question question um question 8 okay so let's continue with question 8 now they say what will be the angle in order for the range to double so i'm gonna write the second equation to, in red so we're gonna have this is gonna be our first equation, but the second the second equation is gonna be what the range is going to double, which is gonna be equal to two r two r is gonna be equal to minus 
v initial squared sine of the two the second angle divided by the acceleration in y can you see this is our second equation because they say the range double which means i'm gonna put the two there for the range to double okay and automatically what did they say they said the initial velocity didn't change which means this guy remain constant this guy remain constant in, in both cases so we're gonna make the the uh, velocity to become the subject of, of the formula so we are going to equal the two so we come here if you apply our to mathemat mathematic v initial in that case is going to be equal to minus r a i squared divided by sine of two of the first angle in this case here our v initial is going to be given by what so we given by two r acceleration in y divided by its negative sine of 2 of the second angle can you see so that we come here we say v squared and then this v o squared we equal the two because remember the speed remain constant so if the speed remain constant if we continue now with our calculation what you are going to have our equation is going to be equal to minus r acceleration in y divided by sine to theta okay equal to v uh, is equal to minus 2r acceleration in y divided by sine to the second angle this is the first angle and the second angle okay and then if you do your mathematic if you do your mathematic this is going to cancel that negative negative this will cancel the r that will cancel that okay so you only want to remain with uh, one over sine of two what is the first angle first angle you say how much 12 degrees huh okay and then here you have what two huh? which remain here two over sine of two of the second angle can you see that okay so once you make that now you want to have a sign if you apply mathematics sign of the second angle will be equal to 2 sine of 24 degrees okay and then you come here you say 2 the second angle is going to be given by what sign inverse of 2 times sine of 24 degrees okay and therefore our angle 2 is going to be given all of that divided by 2 And then you're going to get the angle which is 27.20. So this is how you calculate this. Okay? So this we apply here, it's also applicable for question 7. And I think it's also applicable for um no that it, that it. So that's everything that you need to keep in in mind under this question type of question of range. It's also applicable for question 7. Okay. But when you look at question 10, I just want to explain it quickly. Question, question 10, what's happened there? We have a person at 1.5 meter is throwing a ball. He's throwing a ball. You have a distance which was given there, 15 meter. And then you have a building or let's say block. Let me see. Where is our y and i axis? Y and i axis is what? Here we have our x, there we have what? Our y. Okay? So if this ball was thrown in this direction, which means you want to have a v in x. V in x. V in x. V initial in x is going to be the given angle cos of a v initial cos of that angle. V in y is going to be the given uh, speed side of the given angle so we have the two speed in that but remember because of this i that was given here this is going to be our initial i therefore if you apply the formula that is given well y is equal to uh v initial let's take that equation in y t plus one over two acceleration in y t squared you need you need and must add plus 
the initial y because we have the initial i at which it was throwing and i've explained it already okay so that it you need to know but there is already a memo for you that i've uploaded if you have any question that you would like to get some specific clarification on the specific question please always ask it in the group thank you